Judgment and Newpeel, Starbucks, HK Limited, and another against B Sky B Group. Internet Protocol Television, IPTV, is a way of delivering TV or video content over the internet. IPTV can be closed circuit or over the top. PCCM has provided a closed IPTV service in Hong Kong uh, since 2003. From 2006 to the date, the service has been marketed and delivered under the name Now TV. By 2012, Now TV had become the largest pay TV operator in Hong Kong, covering over half the households in Hong Kong. People in the UK cannot receive this service, and no subscribers for the Hong Kong IPTV service have been recruited in the UK. However, a number of Chinese speakers in the UK in 2012 were aware of the Now TV service as a result of exposure to it uh, when residing in or visiting Hong Kong, or from viewing Now TV programmes on YouTube and other websites in the United Kingdom. PCCM has been considering expanding its Now TV subscription service internationally, and that started in 2009. By two, June 2012, uh, PCCM launched a Now Player app in the UK on its website and also via the Apple Store, targeted at the Chinese-speaking population in the UK. Meanwhile, in March 2012, just before that, Sky announced that they intended to launch a new over-the-top <coughs> IPTV service under the name Now TV. The Sky service was launched in beta form in mid-July 2012. In April 2012, PCCM began proceedings trying to prevent Sky from using the name Now TV in connection with Sky's IPTV service in the UK on the grounds that the use of the name Now TV amounted to what's called passing off. The law of passing off uh, prevents one trader from passing off its products or services as the products and services of another trader. At first instance, the judge found that a substantial number of Chinese speakers, permanently or temporarily in the United Kingdom, were acquainted with PCCM's Now TV service. He also found that PCCM's Now TV service had acquired a reputation amongst members of the Chinese speaking community in the United Kingdom, and that this reputation was modest but more than very small. However, he found against PCCM because viewers of PCCM's programs in the United Kingdom were not customers for its service, and that for the purpose of passing off, it was not enough for PCCM to establish that it had a reputation among a significant number of people in this country if it had no goodwill in this country. PCCM's appeal to the Court of Appeals dismissed and PCCM now appeals to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court unanimously dismisses the appeal for reasons which I give in a judgment with which Lord Sumption, Carnworth, Toulson and Hodge agree. Courts in the United Kingdom have consistently held that it is necessary for a claimant to have actual goodwill in the sense of a customer base in this jurisdiction before it can bring a claim in passing off. Where the claimant's business is abroad, people who are in the jurisdiction, i.e. in the UK, but who are not customers of the claimant in the jurisdiction in the UK, will not do, even if they are customers of the claimant when they go abroad. Goodwill, in the context of passing off at any rate, is territorial in nature, and an English court has to consider the factual position in the UK. Mere reputation is not enough. The claimant must have significant goodwill in the form of customers in the jurisdiction. However, it's not necessary for the claimant to have an establishment or an office in this country. The law of passing off involves striking a balance between the public interest in free competition and the protection of a trader against unfair competition. If it were enough for a claimant merely to establish reputation within the UK without a significant number of people who are customers within the UK in order to maintain a passing off action, this would tip the balance too much in favour of protection, particularly in this modern era of easy global uh, electronic communication. 
It follows from this that PCCM's appeal must be dismissed. Its business is based in Hong Kong, and it has no customers, and therefore no goodwill in the United Kingdom. The people in the UK who get access to PCCM's Now TV programmes via the websites are not PCCM customers in the UK because there is no payment involved and the availability of PCCM's product was intended to promote PCCM's Hong Kong business. As such, it amounted to no more than advertising in the UK, which is insufficient to maintain a claim in passing off. The court is now adjourned. Thank you for coming.